Hello friends, welcome to Things to Build. Today we are going to make these beautiful robin blue eggs. For this we'll need a head of red cabbage. To create the dye, we'll need to chop the cabbage into small pieces. You may not need the whole cabbage, but the dye can be used for other fun activities. Like making green eggs and ham, or to test the pH of household goods in a fun science activity. Once the cabbage is chopped, put it in a pot and fill it with water until the cabbage is covered with water. Bring the cabbage to a boil, then reduce to a simmer until the cabbage is soft and the water has a deep color. At this point, you can drain off the water for dyeing eggs. Process: We're going to soak already boiled eggs overnight, but for a faster process, you can add half a teaspoon of vinegar per, per cup of dye and boil the eggs in the mix for 12 minutes and let rest for about 15 minutes in the dye. Now we're adding several tablespoons of white vinegar to the bowl with the dye in the eggs. Did you notice the color change? For this, we're going to experiment with different mixtures of dye. We're going to add half a cup of dye to each cup. First, we're going to add half a tablespoon of baking soda to one of the cups. Then we swap the first and second cup, so the first cup will be the control with nothing added to the dye. Now we're adding vinegar to the cups. First we're going to add a teaspoon to the cup and that has a strong effect. So we're going to swap the cups and add half a teaspoon to the other cup. Let's add another cup with less vinegar to see what effect that would have. After being stored in the refrigerator overnight, this is the results. Did you notice the eggs with the baking soda didn't take on much color? Once the eggs have cooled, we're going to give them a quick coat of olive oil. Not only does it give them a nice sheen, but it helps preserve them. If you like this video, you might want to check our playlist of other natural dyes for eggs or our playlist with natural dyed t-shirts.